We know that it's only by standing up to fascism that we can stop them from coming back time and time again, trying to terrorise our community. By showing the com our community here and the rest of the country that we will not allow them to intimidate and denigrate our values. Let's hope that today marks the end of the EDL. Just a couple of things, a message to the EDL. Go and crawl back under the stones you came from. We don't want you here. What are we here for? What are we here for today? Right, we're here and we're standing together. And what we're saying is, as Sophia said, and as you've heard so far and you'll hear from all the other speakers, we are saying to the EDL and the BMP, this is not your space, this is our space. Is it our space? Right? This is our borough. The first thing I want to say is thank you. Thank you for coming here today to show your solidarity and support for the kind of life we want to leave in Walthamstow. If it's your first time visiting to join with us, we are welcome, because that's what Walthamstow means in its original format. It means welcome, and we welcome everyone here to Walthamstow, except the, the EDL. So one group of people we do not welcome, because what they represent is not what we stand for. First of all, I want to bring solidarity from UCU, the University and College Union, National Executive, and from all of our members. It's vital that trade unionists stand up against racists and fascists. That's why you've got lots of trade union banners on this demonstration. It's incredibly important that we all stick together to fight our common enemy, and that enemy is racism, that enemy is fascism, and that enemy is on our streets, and that's where we need to be. We need to be on those streets, and we need to stop them. I've been told that the question of dealing with the EDL, I have to say this, that the leader of the council suggested the best thing to do was to ignore them, just to dis pretend that they don't exist. I think that's a mistake, because every single time that they've been ignored, they've used that time to attack us. Let's remember when they marched in Barking and Dagenham, they attacked two young Muslim brothers who were on the demonstration. Let's remember that at Redbridge Mosque, they attacked the Imam because they felt that they could walk in and actually dominate what's going on. Whose streets are these? 